Okay, so unless you've been living under a rock for the past couple of days, you've probably heard about DeepSeek, the Chinese AI company that's bringing shockwaves through Wall Street. Nvidia's stock price dropped 17% in a single day, and everyone's asking if this is the end of the AI hype or if DeepSeek is just the beginning. Here's my hot take on the situation as an international student in China where AI is literally everywhere and why the situation ranges bigger than just the spectrum of two companies. Let's break it down. For some background, DeepSeek is a Chinese AI startup that just released a new open source AI model that rivals OpenAI's ChatGPT. And they did it for under 6 million USD. Compare that to the 1 trillion USD that companies such as Microsoft and Google are planning to spend on AI developments in the near future. But here's where it gets interesting. DeepSeek's success is not only implicating the AI world, but also implicating the sector that helps in the AI development, specifically NVIDIA, the company behind the chips that power most AI development. In fact, I'm, as I'm sure you've heard, NVIDIA's stock took an absolute nosedive this past week, losing 600 billion USD in a single day. That's the biggest one day drop in stock market history. And so now you may be wondering, is DeepSeek really that good? And what does this mean for the future of AI? Well, let's go ahead and answer that question. I did a little bit of research and there are a few things that set DeepSeek, DeepSeek apart from its competitors, including ChatGPT. First, it's open source, which means anyone can use and build on the technology that they've already established. And so that makes the AI and the information that DeepSeek uses a lot more accessible to other companies and firms that might be wanting to further develop their AI software and skills. Additionally, DeepSeek's model uses something called inference time computing, which basically means it only activates the parts of the model needed for each query. This makes it a lot more efficient and cost effective, which in turn resulted in a lower cost of production for the DeepSeek model. And third, DeepSeek did this with limited resources. They reportedly used older NVIDIA chips to develop the current DeepSeek model, which has a working proficiency of ChatGPT, if not higher. But of course, that might also be due to the fact that ChatGPT may have been used to actually train the DeepSeek model, but that's a subject for another video. The main point is that DeepSeek is a very advanced AI model and the overall costs to produce the model were very low and that also has in turn affected NVIDIA's value in the stock market and its value in the global market as a whole. But that has also raised questions as to whether DeepSeek's progression and development is true and tangible and people have even questioned whether DeepSeek is real in the first place and that's another controversy that I will not be touching on in detail. Now let's talk about NVIDIA. For the longest time, they've been the undisputed king of AI chips, but DeepSeek's success is making some investors nervous, hence this drastic drop in the stock value of NVIDIA. And the question that's on the tip of all of our tongues, if companies can build powerful AI models with fewer chips, does that mean NVIDIA's dominance is at risk? Well, some analysts think so. They're questioning whether Silicon Valley is overspending on AI infrastructure. And I mean, if DeepSeek can do more with less, then why are companies like Meta and Microsoft spending billions of dollars to enhance the progression and development of AI when it can be done at a much more cost-effective level? at a similar level of efficiency. Evidently, NVIDIA is not quite ready to give up its dominance and standing in the AI industry and its overall value in the market as a whole. They've already praised DeepSeek's work, calling it a perfect example of test time scaling, which essentially can be translated to, we're still the best, but nice try. Now, as an international student from Peking University, I'm literally surrounded by AI. From facial recognition on campus to AI-powered study tools, China is all in on this technology. And I do feel like that gives me a somewhat unique perspective on this whole DeepSeek and NVIDIA situation, given that I can kind of see both sides of the spectrum and have lived in both countries, I guess you could say. And on one hand, I do think that DeepSeek's success shows how China has become an increasingly dominant power in the AI global race, but I think it also kind of highlights the challenges that may be faced when you're competing in a world where tech development is often politicized to a certain degree that is 
not necessarily always the most efficient and effective for advancing these types of technologies. But at the same time, I do sometimes think that competition can obviously promote overall growth and maybe and may often even enhance the amount of growth that otherwise wouldn't have been possible without that competition. For example, Nvidia's newest chips were banned from China, but DeepSeek still found a way to innovate. And I think that's the kind of resourcefulness that I do tend to notice in China uh, on a day-to-day -day basis and among the students at Peking University. It's been very interesting to see how efficient and resource allocative the people are over there. And it's, it's a very interesting subject that I think I will expand on in the future if you guys are interested in that. And the US has continued to be the dominant power in the world for a, quite some time now, but I'm just very interested in how the trends may change as time goes and depending on the progression and the... And I think that the global AI race is just one small component of that, but it's interesting to analyze these trends. I think it's all up in the air in terms of what will actually happen in the future, but it's just interesting to discuss these topics because obviously they're very hot at the moment. At the end of the day, it really isn't about these two companies. It really isn't DeepSeek versus NVIDIA. It's more about who has control over this technology, who is the dominant power in this industry. I was also discussing it from an economic perspective since I am a finance major. I think it's a question of whether the AI industry will become monopolized, if it will be controlled by these few large companies. So there are several, countless small companies and just companies in general that are starting to implement AI because I think it's something that is just something that, because I do think that it's a tool that has definitely increased our productivity dramatically and will definitely continue to do so as we progress in AI development. And of course, there's also the geopolitical angle that should be discussed, although a little more controversial. With tensions between the US and China, every move in the AI space feels like a chess match. DeepSeek's success is a reminder that innovation can come from everywhere, but it also raises questions as to how far countries will go to kind of protect their tech industries and how politics might be involved. So now you might be wondering, what does this mean for you? Well, whether you're a student, creator, or someone who dislikes to use AI, these developments will undoubtedly shape the world that we live in. And I think the bigger question is, are we ready for it? In any case, that's my hot take on the NVIDIA and DeepSeek situation. I'd love to know what you guys think and what you guys know about the topic and what your thoughts on are on the current trends in the AI industry and what you think might happen in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and for future content similar to this, or if you want to follow my journey as a Peking University international student majoring in finance, please consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one. If you want to learn more about me and my journey as a finance student, Please consider watching this video next and I'll see you guys over there.